but y'all buckle up and hold on tight. Here it is. <laughs> Strawberry. Letter. I'm laughing at your uncle. <laughs> Oh All right. All right. <clears throat> Thank you, uh, nephew. Subject, messy, nosy woman and my personal life. Dear Stephen Shirley, I am a 32-year-old single woman. I have a lot going on for myself. I just graduated with my PhD and am advancing in my career. There is this older woman who feels like she has to hook me up with someone. I am very happy being single, and I do want to get married one day, but I am trying to work on my goals right now. She has tried several times to set me up with her nephew, who has no job and is not doing anything with his life, but she says he needs a good woman to encourage him. He is 36 years old. She has also tried to set me up with her 37-year-old godson. When I tell her I am happy and not interested, she says, you don't want to be one of those old women raising cats, do you? I have never met these guys, never seen them, and they pass their numbers through her to me like high school games. She has even given out my number without my permission to her godson. I don't know what to do, Steve. I respect her and don't want to curse her out, but how do I tell her to leave my business alone? I am tired of being nice when she is too old to be messy and intrusive. She is almost 60, divorced, and tries to talk to any man she can. Please help. Hmm. Well, I have to say this. Congratulations on all your hard work and your PhD, doctor. Congratulations. Um, you're right in how you feel. You have goals. You're happy being single right now, and, and uh, you do have hopes of getting married in the future. Sounds like a great plan. You know, um, and I agree, this woman is all in your business. I mean, yeah, she, she's really nosy and it messy and everything. But, but I, I, I tend to think, you know, because of her era, she does have good intentions. She says she doesn't want you to end up being a cat lady or anything. But uh, she probably, in all reality, doesn't want you to end up like her. 60, no prospects, and just desperate for any man. So no, don't curse her out. Just tell her, you know, to back off with all due respect. Tell her that you don't, under any circumstances, want a man with no job or anything like that. Uh, tell her you, you're not interested in any of the guys she hooks you up with. I don't think this is such a serious problem, but you just do have to tell her face to face that you don't want that. You want someone more on your level, uh, you know, so you'll have a better chance of being happy. Steve? She has tried several times to set me up with her nephew. Nothing stuck out in this letter to me like nephew. Oh, oh. Run. <laughs> Get your ass away from anybody with nephew in their name, lady. Uh-oh. See, run. I have had a nephew forced upon me. We not even seeing each other. It has been a total disaster. I am suggesting to you, please, lady, save yourselves. Run for the hills. Ignore this woman. That's Quit your, your job. Nephew. Move up north. Keep your back to the river. Oh, no. Stay free. Follow the moss. Way. Moss is on the north side of the tree. Look for the wayward star. Keep that wind at your back and move with all things. You're listening to Steve. All right, Steve, back to the strawberry letter. Messy, nosy woman yeah. and my personal life. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> oh. But, oh. That's a nephew, you know. I'm, I just really don't want to even do this letter, to be honest with you, because really she don't have a problem. Look, she don't want a man, but she want a man. But she don't want the man that the old lady want to give her. Now, the old lady done told her, do you want to be one of them old women raising cats? <laughs> now, come to find out that the old woman ain't got nobody by herself. You know, she's almost 60. She divorced and tries to talk to any man she can. Please help. I don't know how to help you. I don't really see the problem. See, you, you know, old people like that, that's messy, they're going to be messy. Ain't nothing you can do to stop them. If you try to stop her, she gonna get messy about you stopping her, mm -hmm. trying to help you. So I think ignoring her is the best thing. You know, pass not your number, you can stop that, change your number, stuff like that. But I want to get back to this point. What? She has tried several times to set me up with her nephew. <laughs> I just cannot get across to you enough mm -hmm. 
the danger in that word nephew. <laughs> What's wrong with this, See, Steve? Now, let me explain something to you. My nephew, mm -hmm. in the beginning, had no prank phone calls. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, my nephew did not come to work every day. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so in the beginning, <laughs> my nephew was never on time. In the beginning, my nephew was told me one time he forgot it was Friday. He thought it was Saturday. That's why he didn't come to work. Remember when he so, called from his bed, though, that morning? He called. He was at home in the bed, and he called. Oh, I was called in. I ain't going to lie. I was Man, this boy right here. Now, God being the God that he is. Sir. He turned me around. After threatening him, uh, suspending him without pay on something. And hitting me. Let's let's get that part. And hitting me. Well, I had to punch you one time, Tommy, because <laughs> I've been telling you I sucker punch your ass and you ain't believe me. So I just hauled off and just knocked his ass down in the front one day. <laughs> you know, I heard him got out of there because I ain't feel like fighting. <laughs> Cause he gonna jump up now. Now he wanna fight. You know, I used to just whoop his ass and just be done with it. Cause I'm, you know, ten years older than him. I felt that. But going now he, he gonna fight. Yeah. But I hit nice. Oh, I knocked him down. So all I can tell you, lady, I really don't have nothing for this matter. Cause I don't really see the problem. Just don't hook up with that damn yeah. nephew. That's the key <laughs> in this whole thing. Unless it's Tommy, and then I highly recommend that you stay away from him. <laughs> All right, coming up, uh, we have some music from Maxwell, and uh, it's junior time coming Unless up. Unless you get a cut of them prank CD sales. Yeah. Yeah.